stare the bastards in the eye and defend yourself. Words of advice from legendary gold investor Jim Sinclair. It's too bad that many Americans and people around the world for that matter don't even see the storm clouds on the horizon. The reserve currency of the world is based on the full faith and credit of the US government. My faith in the US government is about as strong as it was in the Peruvian drivers on my last trip to Peru who cut you off after repeatedly and don't obey the rules of the road and who don't care about anyone but themselves not protecting you and your family as our debt-based monetary system spins out of control is like driving in Peru without any car insurance the Federal Reserve along with countries around the world are in a race to debase their paper currencies with the benefit of exports of course but you and I are getting screwed oh what no uh, uh, no, 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 oh, there they go. In a recent speech, Federal Reserve Vice Chairman spilled the beans earlier this week and admitted that the unemployment rate is much higher than the official figures. According to Janet Yellen, who's in line to replace Helicopter Ben, the unemployment rate's actually 14.4%. When you include 800,000 discouraged workers who've given up looking for f work and 8 million workers who are in part-time jobs when they would rather prefer full-time employment. A link to a recent speech at the Fed's website will be below in the more info section. Just sit tight and be right. The world is drowning in debt. And unless you believe this can go on forever, the most prudent thing you can do is to stare the bastards in the eye and protect yourself by holding real money for thousands of years. Just ignore all the short-term noise of price fluctuations like the silver price drop today. Wow, 90 million ounces of paper slammed down on the tiny silver market again. This keeps happening repeatedly. Sure rings out as a sign of a balanced free market force, doesn't it? I also wanted to talk about predictions today. Many in, in the precious metals community, including Peter Schiff, Jim Sinclair, James Turk, Eric Sprott, Bix Weir, and many others have made some incredible price predictions for gold and silver over the years. I got caught up in this myself and had some great luck because that's what it is in a manipulated market. It's luck. In 2011, I called for $1,900 gold at the start of the year, and we saw 1920. I'd like to predict a gold price of $1,900 an ounce, and I'd like to predict a silver price of $55 an ounce. Uh, but these things really don't matter in the long-term scheme of things because priced in a worthless paper currency, real money can go to infinity. I didn't even do a prediction video this year and myself have actually become quite jaded by all of it. On December 31st, 2012, the US current debt stood at 16.43 trillion. And our favorite turbo tax expert, Timothy Geithner, announced that we had hit our legal debt limit. During January, he stole funds from the government retirement accounts to keep us rolling along until a bill was passed around February 4th. The bill was to temporarily suspend the debt ceiling until May 18th, 2013. These are interesting words, this temporarily suspend, as pointed out by James Turk recently. We have heard these words before, but let's hope Washington has learned their definition by now. August 15th, 1971, we heard the following. I have directed Secretary Conley to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets, except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States. Well, here we are 41 years later and the dollar is still not convertible into gold. Some temporary suspension. But let's not forget why this was done in the first place. 
In recent weeks, the speculators have been waging an all-out war on the American dollar. The strength of a nation's currency is based on the strength of that nation's economy. And the American economy is by far the strongest in the world. Accordingly, I have directed the Secretary of the Treasury to take the action necessary to defend the dollar against the speculators. I have yeah, let's defend the dollar by delinking it from real money so that we can print it into oblivion. The dollar's lost 85% of its value since Nixon's efforts to defend it. By the close of business on February 6th, according to the U.S. Treasury, the total federal debt was $16.4799 trillion, an, an increase of $47.2 billion so far this year. At the close of business on January 2nd, the Federal Reserve private corporation that prints our currency owned $1.66 trillion in U.S. Treasury securities. By February 6th, it owned $1.717 trillion, an increase of $51.1 billion. So what does all this mean? The Fed purchases of U.S. debt this year have exceeded the Treasury's net debt issues by $3.9 billion. So the Fed's buying 100% of the U.S. debt now, but don't worry because the CBO, Congressional Budget Office, estimates that 2013 may be the first year in five years that the U.S. spends less than a trillion dollars beyond her means. They estimate only $845 billion. So the ship has turned around. Yeah, don't be so sure of that. Remember, I don't sell precious metals, and every video I have made since 2009 is up on my channel to view, unlike some other YouTubers. <clears throat> no names mentioned. My rewards come from individuals who message me saying that I helped wake them up. Thanks, friends, and take charge.